Motor Week is made possible by TireRack.com and RockAuto.com. We've all been waiting a long time for this, haven't we? It's finally here. I'm in Texas driving the all-new Bronco. We've got a lot to cover, so hop in and let's go. I'm sure over the past year you've studied the many different packages, pricing, and available options. Maybe even planned out your own dream Bronco more than once. But if you're among the 150,000 that are most likely ordering your 2021 Ford Bronco sight unseen, here's a few important considerations to help you check off the right boxes. First off, unless you need the extra torque of the six cylinder for towing, or just a true hot rodder, the 2.3 liter four cylinder is perfect for anything you can throw at it. Both turbo engines get along very well with the 10 speed automatic with minimal gear hunting during casual driving. But if you must have the seven speed manual, you're gonna love the super low creeper gear as well as the sports car like performance the other six gears can wring out of that required 2.3 liter four cylinder. Many may be shocked by this, but if you're looking for the most comfortable highway ride, the Sasquatch package's 35 inch tires and Bilstein shocks are the smoothest way to go. I was surprised at how much more firm the stock suspension on the Outer Banks luxury trim was by comparison. All right, we're gonna move inside. A class leading safety feature is a standard curtain airbag. While very smart, it prevents the entry assist handle from being attached to the A-pillar as in most trucks. Instead, it's located low on the dash. And while it looks great, it's a little awkward to use and doesn't offer much leverage. Definitely order the step rails if you're old like me. Seating materials seem to be an unsure choice for a lot of people I've talked to. Uh, I personally was impressed with the well-bolstered marine grade vinyl and the basic cloth as well. The leather looks okay in person, but not quite as good as it does in the picks, and doesn't necessarily strike me as up for the task for long haul durability. The rear seats in both two and four door are adequate for large adults and do offer some recline, but they feel smaller compared to the competition. Mainly, I think, due to a lower hanging roof rail that was pretty close to eye level on my 510 frame. Lastly, locking axles can be ordered separately without the Sasquatch package. And I did see a few that only had a rear locker which would be more than enough for a lot of buyers. But if serious off-roading capability is your jam, I recommend the Badlands. It's sway bar disconnect and battle armor are ready to get you over it and back again with no trouble. Whichever model you choose, it should be love at first sight. And all of them have that amazing view looking out over the classically shaped hood. But no matter the vantage point, this beast is a treat for the eyes and we'll have a complete road test of the 2021 Bronco soon on Motor Week.